Hey guys, the spotlight topic for this video is culture media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook for more med tech stuff. In preparation for the next series that I will be doing here, which is going to be called Spotlight, we will be reviewing the basics of culture media. So in this video, we will review the faces, the classification, and also some few tips for studying this part of microbiology. So let's go. Culture media may be used in the following forms. There are culture media in broth, which are liquid, or culture media in agar, which are solid. Culture media in broth contain nutrients dissolved in water, and if organisms grow in the medium, we will see turbidity as a sign of it. So positive growth if the media from being clear becomes turbid. Agar will contain nutrients, water, and solidifying agent. The most common solidifying agent used in diagnostic bacteriology would be agarose. Media are classified into the following. Nutritive, enrichment, selective, and differential. The nutritive culture media contain nutrients that support growth of most non-fastidious organisms without favoring the growth of a particular organism. Non-fastidious means organisms that do not need any special nutrient or substance for their growth. We have to emphasize that it does not give any particular organism a growth advantage. Examples of nutritive culture medium includes triptychase soy agar and nutrient agar, which are both used for bacterial organisms, while the saborad dextrose agar is used for fungal organisms. The next classification is the enrichment culture medium. Enrichment culture media contain specific nutrients to enhance growth of a particular organism. An example of this is BCYE, which stands for buffered charcoal yeast extract agar. BCYE provides L-cysteine for Legionella pneumophila, which is the causative agent of Legionnaire's disease. The next classification is selective. Selective culture media contain inhibitory agent or agents in order to select growth of particular organisms. This means that only the desired organisms will be able to grow in that medium. Example is phenyl ethyl alcohol agar, or PEA with 5% shift blood, which will allow growth of gram-positive cocci and inhibits the growth of aerobic and facultative anaerobic gram-negative bacilli. The last classification is differential. Differential culture media contain factor or factors allowing organisms to exhibit certain characteristics that will allow differentiation from the other organisms growing in the same agar. A common example is MAC, which is used to differentiate the members of the family Enterobacteria shea. It does so because it differentiates lactose fermenters from non-lactose fermenters. Several other culture media in this category may also be selective in nature. Mac Conkey is one of those. And if the culture medium is both differential and selective, sometimes it is also referred to as combination medium. It can differentiate and it can select only certain organisms to grow. For example, we have MacConkey, which will only allow gram-negative bacilli to grow, and will differentiate this gram-negative bacilli according to their ability to ferment lactose. So again, this is an example of a differential and selective medium, also known as combination medium. So far, we have reviewed the phases, the classification, 
And before we go to the tips, let us just remember the phases again are broth or agar. Classification will include nutritive, enrichment, selective, and differential. And if you're going to study the culture media individually, I want to tell you that you will have an easier time by knowing the components. If you know the components, then you will have an idea of what is going to change in the culture medium. Say for example, several culture media that you will be studying will include sugar as one of the sources of energy for your organism. And when sugar is used, it will create a lot of byproducts, especially acidic ones, turning the pH of your culture medium acidic. And if the pH becomes acidic, it will change the color of the pH indicator. And so if you know the pH indicator of that certain culture medium, then you will be able to know what will be the color reaction for your organism. Aside from the pH indicator, also watch out for other indicators such as in culture media having H2S indicators so that you know which are H2S producers. And please also remember that whenever you see this hydrogen sulfide, the positive reaction that we're looking for would be blackening of the culture media. If the organism is a non-H2S producer, there will be no blackening involved. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope we have understood and please watch out for the individual culture media that, will be, that we will be putting on Spotlight in the next few days. And please remember that God loves you so much. Thank you for watching this video and see you again. Bye! Bye-bye!